Welcome to the stream. Let me get up on here. What's good? Welcome to the stream. How's things going? I think I think we're looking good. I think the looking good long term, I would say. Um, short term, we kind of kind of got that question mark. But we're gonna take a dive in the market. We're gonna take a look at it. We're also gonna be looking at this new uh this new telegram bot stuff, trading bots, all that stuff. So we'll take a dive in that, we'll check that out. We'll also look at some some Fed now stuff and uh, and then yeah, so we'll jump into it, look at some charts, all that good stuff, all the good stuff you want to see. So we're gonna jump into it and do it. Uh as I get myself situated, we're gonna get this stream together because the bull market is upon us. I think we're early in them days. So as it picks up, we got the brain alpha. You know, we got to look at some charts. We got to look at what's pumping, what's not pumping. We got to look at what's trending because trends are your friend. And if you can jump on trends, um, you're winning in crypto. So, but let's jump into it. Let's look at some stuff. Let's check some things out. Let's look at the bubbles, but let me get myself together. Okay, so this is for the day. This is kind of what we're looking like uh, in the bubbles. We have Link up. Of course, we have Hex doing good engine on the day. We do have some down, um, but it's just what it is on the hourly. We have we got a, got more red on the hourly. We go to the weekly. We have some some good some good green. Um, this came from the pump. Cost been doing excellent. I wish I knew about this one. I wish I could have caught up this one on the bottom. Um, I think a lot of people that got in early on that made some nice gains. So H bar is, is looking good. H bar is a is a great investment I, I think long term engine also xrp we know about xrp at least the ones that's been in crypto for a while I know about xrp uh xdc on the monthly everything almost everything looks green on the monthly because of all the news that came from xrp but that has slowed down a lot you know, I, I kind of figured it was going to be a nice little pump and then we're going to dump. But if you caught that pump, congratulations. You, had, you made some nice quick gains on the yearly. We don't have, we have a lot of red on the yearly. We have still a lot of stuff down, but coming up in the bull market, I think a lot of stuff is going to recover big time. A lot of things already recovered quite a bit. Uh, we still have some down, you know, we have FTT down. 95 percent you know we have crow 55 percent heck 76 percent but all this will recover especially if, the, if you're in the top 100 you're gonna recover more than likely in the bull market cost is one i wish i would have got let's go back and look on the, the top 200 we have some nice pumps we have bone we have um fet which is an ai token and we have some more so that's doing good. Let's go to the top 300. So, yeah, but for the most part, you know, you come back, you have a lot of red, but you have some, some decent pumps. Dex, Dex T has been doing well. They've been burning tokens. So Dex, Dex T is deflationary right now. I think it's going to perform really well in the bull market. So that's probably one you might want to look into. No, not financial advice, but... I have me a bag. So what else we have? We have some more, some, some of these low caps. So the farther we go down, top 1000, all these are low caps, has the potential for great gains. And you can see the gains on these um, have been really good. Really don't know what these are about. We'll have to do my research, but the farther you go down, um, we have we get these low caps and these are the ones to really get the major gains, especially if they're really good projects. So you might want to look at some of these low cap cryptos to get some of the major gains off of. But that's kind of what we have with the bubbles. Now let's go check out BTC. 
and what we got going on with BTC. So BTC is not looking as good as it was. Uh, we did have, of course, we had to sell off after the pump from the, the XRP. Uh, we did have a nice little downtrend. It did break out of it, but we're back in it. So we're coming up on major decision. So are we going to hold or are we going to dump? Um, for me, let me see. We probably can establish another trend right here. I'm going to keep that trend too. But let's establish another trend. Let's establish this trend too. We can we can we can count that as a trend. So, um, now question is, are we gonna hold? Or are we gonna dump? So I think if we were to fall out of this, we could maybe possibly let me draw that real quick. Um, could get a bounce right there. Um, but more than likely in my eyes, if we break out of this, we're coming down here at 28,242. I can see that as a support, and then we could break down if we break through that. But this is the major one I'm watching, this blue uptrend line, which was drawn way back here. That's the major one I'm watching. So we break through that then we're in for some short-term pain. Uh, I think it'll be short-term. I don't see it being long-term pain, but we'll have to wait to see what happens with that. Hex is something I'm really bullish on in the bull market too. Um, I think it has bottomed out in my opinion. We did break up in this, but we came back down. So we can still hold that there. Uh, from the last time I talked about this. Now, ETH, same thing, broke up, came back down in here. So we're still in this accumulation zone, as I would say it is. Uh, are we going to break out of it and hold or not? Time will tell, but we need to get up above this and we need to stay above this, in my opinion. Uh, if we break out of this, we're coming down here, which I talked about that. Very bullish on Pulse, too, for the bull market. I think Pulse is going to do well. Um, they did come up out of this, but then it came back down in here. So, And we do have a nice little uptrend line right here. So we need to hold this uptrend line. That is a key, key level to hold. Now, if we break out of this, we could come down and experience a little short-term pain, I would say. Uh, I don't I don't think we're going back in the full bear market, even though we're kind of in the bear market. I would say that we're in an early bull market. That's, I, I won't, I'm not even gonna call it a bear market. Um, I say a, 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 a early bull market. That's kind of where we're at right now. But for Pulse, it's kind of dumping right now. Let's see if we can hold this. We could call this as support. We could call this as support. We could call this as support too. But this is really what I'm watching. This uptrend line right here. That's what I'm paying most of close, close attention to right now. Um, there's many other we can look at, but that's really all I'm going to look at for right now. Um, I want to talk about some other stuff. AI tokens is, I'm really bullish on AI tokens, this bull market. I think AI is going to be a big major player in the space. Um, and I'm going to talk about an AI project that, that I'm, that I'm liking a lot. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but you can go and find these categories, AI categories, and just look at them and do some research. So I just recommend doing your own research, find out who's serious, who's not serious. Um, yeah, just pay attention to what they're doing. Are they active? That's important. Um, how much, what are they doing in their telegrams and their social chats? It's important to look at that and pay attention to that stuff. It's very, very, very important. Um, another thing I'm, I'm 
bullish on is data on top of with AI2, which is another category. This is all on coin market cap. So data, I think data is a big thing. Uh, Fetch AI is, is a really big one. I think is going to really do well. Uh, they've been around for a while. They've been developing, building. This is one I'm really, really bullish on. Um, and there's many more engine is another really, really good one. Uh, we're not going to really go into deep research on these as we go into the bull market. We'll probably pull a few and we'll probably talk and get a little more deeper into them. Um, but for right now, this is kind of what I'm looking at. Another thing I'm looking at is the ZK rollups or zero knowledge, ZK proof, all that good stuff. So another category to pay attention to. What I normally do is sort them by the market caps. And of course, Polygon is one of the bigger ones. But, but remember, the smaller the market cap, the bigger the gains. So you want to look at that. Um, also, some of them that's been around for a while. You can go and you can kind of look at information on that. Especially one that's been around for a while and that's still building. I think them are really good ones to invest in in this bull market. The new ones is kind of up in the air. We don't know what they're going to do, but it's important. To, I think zero knowledge is going to be really, really big coming up in this bull market. Now, let's go to the Telegram box. The Telegram box, they, um, CoinMarkCat did build a category for these Telegram box, and I want to really talk about these. We're gonna look at one specific one in a little bit, but we're gonna I'm gonna look at this real quick since I'm up here on Telegram. And these are some that that I've really been doing really well. And you can see there's a lot of green. This is the new trend. This is the new thing everybody got their eyes on. This is the new thing everybody's buying. So it's I think it's important to, to follow the trend. Trend is your friend, and but. When you follow the trend, don't get wrecked. Don't buy things that are pumping really hard. Find something that's possibly down, that has a good team that's building stuff and buy that. Or buy something that has just launched. And there's a few on there. Um, collab was one that um, I think is really big. I think a lot of people use them for verification for all that. They do have a token. Um, if you've used their product, their their bot um, before in the past, you got a free airdrop. I did end up buying more because I feel like this thing was gonna go and we can see the pump. And it was down for quite a bit when it launched. I think it was a big sell off too at lunch. Uh, so it did run up here to 10 cent. Let me uh, get this straightened out. So it did run up here and then it kept dumping on down here. I think a lot of people forgot about it. I missed this pump. I wish I'd have bought some more, but I think that I wouldn't buy this big pump. I will wait for a small pullback and get some. I think this could be a really big one too. Um, most people know about Collab. If you're in crypto, you know about Collab. They they do a lot of stuff regarding verification and stuff. And they have these, these bots that verify different things. Um, regarding dials and all that stuff. They're really big. They're probably one of the biggest Telegram and Discord bots out there that's been around for a while. So um, this this probably would be a really good buy. And it's only a $4 million market cap. So this thing has legs, has a lot of legs. So just something to look at. Okay, um, let's go to look at another crypto that I'm pretty bullish on um, squid grow is has the meme form but has really strong backing um, squid grow is another one that that I'm excited for in this bull market so this bull market to come it's down quite a bit so you can get some really good gains off this you know it's had a few few pumps with of course this is the biggest one this was at lunch um, and this is this is why it's important not to buy pumps. Like this thing launched and pumped really hard. Imagine coming into this and buying this pump and then to watch it 
dump back down and watch your value go down. And now you got the DCA to kind of even out. So it's always important just to wait. The market always corrects. It always does. And we can see right here where it dumped, corrected, had another pump, and then you know, and so on. So just be patient. Um, this new trend with the bots, they're going to correct. You know, and then you can get your perfect entry if you want a perfect entry or just wait till some new ones launch that has really good teams. And then you get in on that time um, or yeah, buy, buy some that's already corrected. So. Uh, so this is uh, an AI project I'm bullish on right here. It's called Truth. And I talked about it in my last stream, I think. We talked about it. Uh, I think it has bottomed out. It's been kind of in the sideways movement for a little while. Uh, really good team. Really, um, that the, one of the guys that I would say I don't know if he's the creator. He might be the creator, but he he has he's very trendy on TikTok. So he's been pushing it and getting a lot of eyeballs on this. This was kind of made off of a comment that Elon Musk made. And they decided to build this and build a, a, a AI bot that gives you the truth. You know, it doesn't sugarcoat stuff and hide stuff or it doesn't create his own narrative and all that stuff. So, um, is this, did they upgrade the website? Oh, shoot. Is this the same one? Huh. I think they upgraded the website. Let me see something really quick. Because I didn't. Let me. Website looks different. And I didn't show it, but I want to make sure I'm giving you the right stuff. So let me see something really quick. I don't want to see into the wrong thing. But I think they may have upgraded their website. Uh, so they did upgrade. Let me see. One moment while I check this out. Um, no, that is something different. That's not the one. Okay. Truth. Uh, hold on. I gave you the wrong contract. Let me paste the wrong, the right chart in here. This is the one I'm talking about right here. Okay. This is the correct one. Ignore the other one. Um, this is the correct one. The correct truth. Um, G GPT and I'll show you the website in a minute um I don't know what that one is maybe someone is just trying to copy what they're doing but this is the real one right here so you can see the chart let's go right here bullish straight bullish but these are these are the and that they and the thing about this, they have incentives to keep people to hold. So that's what makes it bullish. But yeah, I did get some of this. It's really not that expensive to um for the token right now. Um it's ten thousand, you need ten thousand truth tokens. Uh yeah. So this is the website. Let me go to it real quick so you can see it. So this is the website right here and um, they built it off the inspiration of Elon Musk. And you can download the app. The app is on on um, Apple, on the Apple Play Store or I think Android too. I think you can download it on Android and you can interact with it, but you, know, you can get a certain amount of tokens and and be able to use the app pretty much free 
uh, 10,000 tokens is probably it's not a lot regarding this price. So I did get some tokens. Um, I'm going to ride this thing, hold it. Uh, it's an incentive to hold. So that's why I believe this can run. But yeah, so be sure to check that out. Of course, never financial advice, but this is a real world utility right here. So that's why I felt good, felt comfortable sharing it because of that. Um, now let's talk about this Unibot thing. Uh, Unibot is probably, let me see, let's go back over here. Uh, Unibot, I think it is, do I, do I still have this tab open? Uh, I think I closed that tab. Anyways, Unibot is one of the bigger Telegram bots. And we're going to do an overview of it really quick. So it's a Telegram bot. And the Telegram bot, you can do some trading in it. Um, this is the website. Uh, let's watch this quick video real quick. Maybe I might have to turn. Let's see. I'm going to turn this off really quick and or silence it and we're going to So yeah, so that is Unibot, and we're gonna. I'm gonna. I, I got to put up in my Telegram, so I'm gonna go in there really quick and show you a few things. But this is a new thing, and, and this is, and and the good thing about this, it generates fees, and uh, maybe I can pull that up too in a minute. Um, but there's a revenue share for being a holder also, so the revenue comes back to the holders which is good. So it has utility and yeah, so it's amazing, something amazing, something new, something that's currently trending. And it's something that you can try out if you want. Now, uh, suggestion, this is just a suggestion. If you use this bot, I would say use a fresh wallet. Don't use your personal wallet. Um, of course, this is new. All new things come with high levels of risk. So not saying that you're going to get scammed or anything, but it can happen. So use a fresh wallet, test a little bit of tokens. Don't test all your tokens. So what happens if you, when you come on here, you're going to, first thing you're going to have to do is hit settings and connect your wallet. So that's the first thing you have to do. Um, import your wallet, replace wallet, whatever you're going to do. Normally, you're not going to have a wallet, so you're going to have to import your wallet, set a password, or you can link your wallet, whatever, whichever one you want to do. You can do either one. 
And then that allows you to start doing these tasks, whether you want to buy tokens, sell tokens, buy limit, sell limit. Or if you want to if you want to mirror someone else trade, you can do that. So it has you have the availability to do all that stuff. So um, this is new. Um, I think it's nice. It's, it's And then I have a little tutorial if you want to get more information on how to use it and all that stuff. I will be I haven't tested it out yet to be transparent, but I will be testing it out. Um, this kind of something that I I should have been up on this, but it's something I just found out about today. And this has been a major trend and I think the word is getting out. So but yeah, so it's worth trying out. But that's really the steps. The major steps is just setting up your wallet and then you can start doing these specific tasks. I don't think it'll let me do anything because I haven't set up a wallet yet so you have to enter your the token address um and you can do a private you can do a, a private transaction or you can front run you know so and you pick your amount that you want to do all that good stuff if you want to buy a limit same thing um you have to put your token address set the price all that stuff and then it just happens and I like that it has the private transaction aspect. So you can kind of do it in a private way. That's kind of what I see. But yeah, that's the new trendy thing. Another amazing thing I want to talk about is these right here, these airdrop, airdrops. Follow some of these guys or or people that's that's generating these these Twitter threads for airdrops and do some of these tasks. Um, it only take a takes a little bit of time. I just say do do one. If you can do like one a week, you know, it, you don't have to do a lot, but it makes you eligible. If you have all the time in the day, one a day, um, but it makes you eligible for these airdrops. You know, these airdrops could be life changing for you. You never know. So just try them out. Do some of these tasks, and you know, like this says, turn eight dollars into ten thousand. So it's a potential, and this is not saying this is going to happen, but the potential it could happen. And this is what this is saying, take $8, and you're bridging across all three of these, and then you're doing some tasks to get three airdrops, which could, could, which could equate to $10,000. That's kind of what that's saying. It just takes a little bit of your time, and that makes you potentially eligible to get an airdrop. So this um, rec Fencer is a really good one. Um, I follow him, so um, he's a really good one to check out for these airdrops. He does a lot of different um, airdrop strategies and all that stuff. He's always pushing them out. So check him out. Check out some others. There's many others that do it also, but I think you should follow some of them. Uh, on to the next thing. Bet now did officially launch. Um, I did see this video. Not sure how real it is but if this is where we're going um thank god for DeFi and being able to detach from the system because for me i'm not liking it um, i know we use our phone for you know unlocking our phone and all that and i know it's a way of kind of programming people for where they're taking it but i don't feel comfortable giving them access to everything that i have so but this is kind of where things are going you know using your face as a way to spin you know they recognize your face uh and then i guess it connects to the system somehow and it allows that transaction to go through i'm not feeling it you know um but it is what it is this is what's happening um this fed now is partnering with cbdc's so CBDCs are going to be a part of Fed now. So they're going to collab, which most of us already knew this was coming. Now, the time of the major rollout worldwide, we don't know the time frame. It's still, I think it's still a lot of testing to be done. I think I would say still a few more years um, because they still have to get all the regulation in place. So this is not an overnight thing, but they're starting to roll things out. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, stay in tune for stuff like that. Um, I'll also be bringing videos on these things, some news on Fed now, CBDCs, and going to be getting more into the news stuff too. So I'll be looking, looking out for that. 
just changing things up, bringing something different, um, trying to bring some great alpha to you. So just be in tune as we wrap things up with streams. Okay, on to the next thing. This, I don't know if you heard of this. Let me go here first. The Arcam Intelligence. This is something that I haven't really used yet, but doing some research, I think it's a great place to um, set yourself up to get information on the blockchain. Um, and we're going to go through some of the things that it does. So, uh, of course, de-anonymizing de de the blockchain. Uh, let's go. Let me see. I did it earlier. Let me do it. There it is. Um, see people and companies behind a blockchain. So you can search for people. Like this has Bruce Wayne. You can search search for, you know, if Elon Musk has a wallet that's attached. So people that have attached their identity to a wallet or, you know, Mark Zuckerberg or, you know, if you want to do CZ, um, you can get their blockchain and you can follow what they do. So companies, all that stuff. You know, um, hedge funds, what our hedge funds invest in. You can see all that stuff, especially if they're attached to the blockchain. So it's a great tool for information. Of course, um, what's next? Let's go to the next one. Visualizing anyone's blockchain activity. So this is like this shows this is a wallet and it kind of gives you a visual of what they're doing, you know, and you can see all that stuff. It has its good and its bad because, you know, you got to think about governments and all that and how they can be able to track and all that stuff. Um, that's the good thing about ZK Rollups. You can censor a lot of stuff and only show what you want. But the way this is done right now, the way the blockchain is built, for the most part, with ETH and all that, if you have your identity attached to your wallet, this stuff can be traced from wallet to wallet and blockchain to blockchain. Um, but this gives the access to be able to do that. So I'm going to try it out. I think it's also good to find out what wells are buying when they buy all that stuff because you can set up also alerts on that stuff. So I will be testing that out. Uh, next, what else we have? Um, we have intelligence on address, entities, assets, and most important, you. So you can also trace your own stuff on here. Uh, yeah, so that's available. You can do that. Me, I'm not going to connect my wallet to it. I'm just not doing it. You know, I might might paste my address, but I'm not connecting my wallet. Because if you connect your wallet, then they know. So they, it's a way, pretty sure they can make it a way to where they know that this is your wallet and you're connecting. Because it does ask for you to set up an email address to, to get access, to be able to set all these things up. So customize alerts, which I talked about, you can customize alerts so you can get alerts when things happen and all that, whether it's a ma major buy or a buy, all that good stuff. So you can set that up also. And this right here are some partners, of course, you know, a lot of different blockchains and stuff. So yeah, check it out. Um, I did, I did uh, set my account up haven't really done a whole lot with it with it yet but you can go in here and do that stuff you know you have different blockchains different things um let's click on let me see if it'll show me another one the entity uh let it generate let's do let's try this one out let me see would like to get an individual also let me see if it pop one up Let's see if we can get, let's see, CZ, will CZ pop up? Let's try. What about Elon? Elon. We have an Elon Musk. Let's see. Um, Mark Gox, let's, let's check that out. And that's a bit interesting. 
So Mount Gox, this is kind of what it gives you. You know, it shows what they have and it shows uh, four days ago, BTC was moved. That gives you some transactions and all that stuff. Uh, what else? Does it have anything else for us? Not much from Mount Gox. Anchor, let's go to Anchor really quick. So Anchor, it shows Anchor right here, Anchor Network. It shows their portfolio. Uh, some of the things that Anchor is invested in. And then some transactions that has happened. It gives you their profit and their loss right here. Uh, visualize. Let's see if that pops up. So that looks like really quick. It gives you a visual. Let's see if it loads. I didn't even turn my music back on. It's crazy. Anyways. So this um is like a visual of Anchor. You can see Anchor right here. And we see how Anchor went to BSC. Um, I'm surprised they don't have, I guess the main main is on ETH, so I wouldn't. That's probably why it wouldn't show ETH right here. But you can move these around. And like, so this wallet, I can click on this wallet right here and get information on this wallet. So it allows you to track stuff. And this wallet is has a lot of trend, a lot of different investments. And you can see what they got, you know. So that's a good part about this thing. So you can follow things um, as far as you want. It tells you how much it, these certain transactions or uh, these certain investments are. So you can see all that stuff too. But yeah, so that's really all I got. That's 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 it. That's all I got for today. But stay tuned. Much more stuff to come. We're gonna be changing some things up and how we do things, um, especially regarding uh, DeFi crypto. Um, how how we do um, our streams. So that's gonna a lot of that stuff is gonna be changing. So just stay tuned on all that good stuff. I promise it, it's going to get exciting soon, especially with the bull market. I think things are really going to really going to get exciting. I think that there's there's much 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 to come, much excitement. Um, a lot of things that we like to see. We like to see price go up. I think it's going to come. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot about one thing. We gotta forgot to talk about this. So, if you're looking for a on and off ramp, looking for on and off ramp, this is your solution right here. This is the solution. Easy, fast, pretty decentralized for the most part you know there are some cases that you might have to kyc but it's not going to ask for your social security number most of that's for is your id uh for the on ramp for the off ramp you can put any information in the off ramp you know you can, you can put whatever you want um there's even a case where they allow you to pay to use their the art art will pay allow you to pay to use their address and their name um, so that you can really be anonymous so that's the beauty of this so it's one of this if it's not one of the best it is the best of on and off ramp i've seen in crypto and there's so much more coming for this platform but if you're looking for one all the links are down in the description for this stuff so if you need it it's down below you can click the link it'll take you here if you use the product to onboard crypto to offboard crypto yeah it's available for you so check it out 
And that is it, folks. That's it. I will catch you on the next video.